and welcome back to Intermedia Chronomancer class. Yep, so after spending 20 years of cutting down enemies with your memory tools, <laughs> or knocking down trees with your memory tools, you may want to find a way to harvest your time sand um, efficiently. Here we have the fork extractor and also the catalyst which will be needed to extract time sand. And over here we have the well of time which you will be storing your time sand in with this uh, time tune. <laughs> I will go through it later on. I know it's a bit confusing right now. But you guys have to grasp it quickly because you guys are not beginners anymore. And of course, we're gonna play with Hourglass, which makes us Chronomancer much more powerful and invulnerable to elements. Alright, so first of all, you guys have to learn how to make good use of the extractor. So over here in the chest, I have different type of extractor, like death, lunar, life, air, water, earth, fire, and light extractor. So each one of them come with different type of catalyst. So you guys have to actually match it. So the death one can use death and uh, lunar have to use lunar, duh, right? <laughs> so let's check out the crafting recipe. So for the death fork extractor, I'll be flashing it through really quickly. As you can see, um, it is pretty expensive to make. Uh, you need active temporal core. I believe I went through the recipe already, so let's just take a look again. Nuggets, temporary ingots, and redstone. And also um, brass ingot plus bone. So this will give you death extractor. So over here, you will have um, what is this? Lunar, you need gas tier instead. For this, you need golden apple for the life. Air, we will need feather, very simple. Water, we will need water, of course. And let's see what's next. Earth, we will need stone. Fire, we will need flint and steel. And also light, we will need a torch. Very simple. And of course, don't forget about the catalyst. It is as important as it is. If without a catalyst, the extractor won't work. So for the death, it is um, temporary ingot, golden apple, and stone sword. For the lunar, it will be glass, stone, and temporary ingot. Life, it will be torch, temporary ingot, and wheat. Air will be feather and stone and tempering ingot. Lava, water, and tempering ingot for water catalyst. Very interesting. For earth, we will need stone axe, bone, tempering ingot. Fire, we will need water, flint and steel, tempering ingot. And lastly, light, we will need wool, glowstone, and tempering ingot. Whew. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is to check out all the extractor i'm gonna demonstrate how you guys gonna extract it but first of all let me just grab some catalyst because some of them might have run out of catalyst already and yes i'm cheating again <laughs> so over here we have the lunar fork extractor as you can see let me right click over here it will somehow give you a hint on how to extract the time sand from this extractor so you can see there's a moon and the extractor is over here is obviously at the night time you will be able to extract the time sand from the moon, I think so. <laughs> Alright, so nothing is working right now. The time sand is still stuck at 905 because there's no catalyst in it. So let's place down a catalyst. And nothing is happening because it is still daytime. Let's change the time to dusk. And you can see the extractor is actually working. So you can see it is building up and sometimes it will just drop to um, a lower amount because it is actually extracted to the time well over there. But we'll go to that later on. So for the life fork extractor, we will need a life catalyst and also um, some naturally spawned monster or animals. So you can actually just place it into a dark cave during daytime. And uh, the monster will probably spawn in it and it will just make it despawn and actually extract the time sand from it. If you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so any natural spawn will be cancelled and it will become time sand for you to extract so the next one is wind this is very simple just place it high in the air and of course the catalyst in it and it will start to collect time sand yep so this is the air catalyst so for the water it is just placing it in the water and also um let me just jump up here yep place the water catalyst in it and it will start to collect time sand and after a while it will just send the time sand to this well over here do you guys see that the time sand just uh, got 
transferred to this time well. So next is the earth extractor. How this works is by planting a sapling around it. If it's gonna grow into a tree, it will cancel the growing process and it will collect time sand from it. So it is um, ideal to place this around many many saplings, uh, much more than this. And it will collect time sand with the catalyst. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this uh, at the very beginning. The catalyst will actually deplete its durability every time it collects time sand. So yep, you have to recraft the catalyst very often. Alright, so the next one is um, Fire Fork Extractor. Very simple as well, if something is burning, it will extract the time sand from it. Very easy to do, just find a lava pit and I'll just place it beside it. And let's say we're gonna push some, push some animals in it. Let's say a chicken. Alright, 491. Place it in. There, it extract the time sand. It's quite a lot, a thousand and plus of time sand. Much more faster than, uh, much more faster than some of the other extractor. So I have bone meal here, let me just demonstrate the earth. So 508. So let's plant this. You can see the time sand is actually collected into this extractor. And there, you can see. Simple as that. The growing of the tree is done. And let's, all right, let's place this back. The next one is the light fork extractor. This actually extract light. Let me just place the catalyst in. You used up the catalyst already. As long as there's light, this fork extractor will start to absorb the light and change it into time sand. Very simple to build, very simple to use. Next over here we have death fork extractor. This uh, requires death to happen and it will extract the time sand from it. So I figured out just placing an animal in the center. <laughs> Poor chicken. Don't worry it won't die because uh, it will prevent it from dying. So by uh, suffocating them, you guys can actually gather the time sand pretty quick. But of course the death catalyst will deplete quickly as well. So you guys have to craft extra catalyst. Ah, uh, it's a bit noisy, let's break that. Oh, it's escaping. Never mind about that. Alright. So with all the extractor and catalyst explained, next will be the time well. Alright, so the time well is over here. This will collect the time sand uh, which you have harvested from your extractor. Remember all the extractor harvest the same time sand, no matter what element it is, but it's just a different matter how it's gonna be extracted. So for the time well, crafting recipe for it is uh, active temporal core and also sedate temporal core, temporal ingot and brass ingot. And you have this time well, which can place it down and also time tuner, you will need this to set the location of a time well. Brass ingot, temporal ingot. And let's take this out and this time well out as well. So as you can see, I've already have a time well. Right click on it, you can see uh, I obviously cheated for the <laughs> time sand. Uh, it harvest a lot, around a million of time sand already. Very efficient, you just keep going. And uh, by right clicking with the time tune, you can actually set it as the default well. So let's say I place this one over here. If I'm not wrong, if I right click on this one, the time well will be changed to this. Let's wait for a while. It's gonna happen. Or is it gonna still send to this one? Oh, it's still gonna send to this one. I'm not very sure why, but uh, it's supposed to change the location of the um, time well. Maybe it's still not working yet, or maybe I got it wrong. You guys can leave it in the comments to like to let other players know what went wrong. But still, this is how you actually collect time sand. Just by placing down a well and uh, right click it with time tuner, you can start to collect your time sand into this well. Alright, so after you accumulate a lot of time sand, what you're gonna do with this, you can actually put your tools. Let me just, um, where's my weapon? Alright, for the hourglass, let's quickly go through the recipe first before I forget. Glasses, simple, you have this hourglass and for the chronomancer hourglass, you will need a uh, sedate temporal core and active temporal core and also a brass ingot with the hourglass in the center and you have this chronomancer hourglass. So what this hourglass does is to have the ability to store your time sand. So it will supply time sand to your weapons. So let's say if I um, put this into here, 
it will start collecting time sand. You can see it is um, storing up time sand. Very useful as a storage system. You can of course put it back into the well by placing it on top of it. Yep, so this is what it does. And you can also store it into your weapons, which have a maximum um, time sand limit. Of course, you can also pour it into your time well to store it. This or that. Alright, so what's so special about this hourglass, you guys must be asking. Of course, it is very special. You can actually uh, power them with different type of faces. So this, so this hourglass over here, it has death and moon, so on, life, wind, water, earth, fire, and light power in them. So each one of them has different uh, uses. So let me just take a few. Let me just place all this back into the chest. I don't need them anymore. And uh, duplicate a few of them. Yep. So the next thing we want to do is to elementalize this hourglass. This chronomancer hourglass. Remember the celestial compass over here? We're gonna use it to elementalize our hourglass. Alright. So very simple. Just stand near to any elements that you want to elementalize. So how you do it is by throwing the hourglass into the elements that you want. So I want life. I would just throw it into here. How about we throw into every single one of them. So you can see the particle effect is going on around 10 seconds later. They will transform into the elementalized hourglass. All right, let's collect them. All right, we have water, light, and life, and so on. So let's see if we can transform them into another type by throwing them like this yes we can so if let's say you want to change the element you can actually throw it onto the other compass face and you have the different element and here we have the l hmm nope <laughs> still life let's try again bam 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 is it working is it gonna work yep it changed into lunar so this is how you make Chronomancer Hourglass. Each one of them has specific power. So I'm going to demonstrate to you guys. However, um, you still cannot use it yet because remember all the clockwork weapon and equipment and tools, you will need the mainspring and also the clockwork component. So let's see whether we have a component. Nope, we don't have any. But um, let me just go and grab them. All right, I'm back with the clockwork and also the mainspring. So let's place the mainspring in it, clockwork in it, and also our hourglass. Let's put the lunar one into it. And you will have this tension and quality and speed. And of course, it doesn't have memory. I would advise you guys to save the memory components for your tools and your weapons. So let's pull it out. And you can start to wind this up with this um, winding box. Oh, I can feel the power surging in it. Here it's full. All right. So what you can do with it is you can right click and you can see it is actually depleting the tension. And for the effect, I think for the lunar, it actually lets you levitate. Let me just try. Um, jump and right click. No, jump and right click. Um, what is going on? <laughs> Alright, let's try. Jump and right click. Jump and right click. Yes, I can levitate. <laughs> And then you can right click again to fall, but of course you want to double click it because uh, it will let you slow down the fall. Yep, it can uh, actually define gravity. So uh, it's up to you guys how you guys want to use it. So this is for the lunar hourglass. Let me just show you guys the rest. Um, let me throw this away first. Alright, let me just grab all of them out um, from the chest. So each one of them with different elemental power. I'm going to show it to you guys. Oh yeah, and remember, you can always upgrade your tension and your clockwork quality and speed. So no worries if you put the wrong stuff in, you can actually right click on it. It will just pop out the mainspring and also the clockwork you have in it. And of course for the clockwork, you can also disassemble it with this disassembler. Alright, let me just um, place it back. Bam! All right, now to demonstrate the power of the hourglass. Remember, every time you use it, it will use up the tension, so wind it up. All right, we are ready to use the power of the hourglass. So the very first one we have is the chronomancer hourglass of death. So what this does is actually, I think it buffs your attacks. 
let me just go to creative um, survival mode yep survival mode right click so it buffs strength but poison you and also deplete your hunger quickly um, yep my hunger bar is going down very quickly you can see in the screen this is for death it gives you strength but also deplete your hunger's bar next is lunar i think we went through it just now already it allows you to define gravity to lets you levitate and also slow down the falling speed yep um it will decrease the tension when you use it so let's right click again it will stop the tension so the next is the hourglass of life very simple it gives regeneration plus two very nice uh, oh yeah and remember um, the quality affects the tension as well and also the speed affects the um, effect it's gonna give so the higher the speed the more powerful the buff is gonna be so it might be regeneration 3 or maybe 4 if you have higher speed all right right click on it to all of it next is the hourglass of wind this is really fun um, it allows you to fly forward really quickly so I right click on it and I can whoa look at me I'm zooming so fast <laughs> yep Combine it with our other hourglass, I believe this will be a very efficient hourglass too to let you travel around and explore the world quickly. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Next is the hourglass of water. If you guys guess that it gives you water breathing, yup, it gives you water breathing. You guys are correct. So right click on it, water breathing is on. And also additionally, if you're in water, it gives you extra buffs. So it gives you night vision, haste and regeneration when you are in the water. So very useful for water exploration. And next is the earth. So earth is very simple. It allows you to stand on any block when once you activate it. So let's say you are standing on this block. You can no longer fall down. It will provide you an invisible block to walk on until you reach another level. So let's say I reach this one and I want to jump on this and I can jump onto it. Mm, nope, I have to off it and turn, turn it on again and jump on it. I'm on the third block. Yes So this is the earth hourglass All right fire. Yes, you guys guessed correctly again fire resistance and of course when you're burning you have boost night vision strength to resistance and fire resistance very effective during uh, firefight in nether I recommend this hourglass so remember you will deplete your tension pay close attention to your tension let's douse myself all right um turn it off next is the hourglass of light you guys will be very interested with this one yep so uh inside here is very dark so when, once you right click on it it will create this little sphere for you to provide lightings in dark corners very good for cave exploration and stuff it depends on how you guys want to use it yep as simple as that so we have went through everything for the intermediate so we have went through how to harvest time sand how to store time sand great now you guys are ready for advanced chronomancy and i will see you guys in the advanced lesson and hello fellow chronomancer and welcome back so i think you guys are ready for the advanced chronomancy so here we have is the pocket watch modules so right click on it and of course a pocket watch is a must for a chronomancer so recipe very expensive but by this time you should be rich of um, temporal cores and also um, time sand i believe and you can see here all right brass ingot sedate temporal core active temporal core temporal ingots and a clock and you will have this pocket watch amazing pocket watch let's take it out and of course they have different modules over here so we have furnace modules, sip touch, partial gravity, life walk, and death walk. So all these modules can be added into your pocket watch to give you extra buffs, to give you special properties in your daily Minecraft playthrough. So let's bring them all out and um, I will demonstrate to you guys how to actually put them into the pocket watch. Alright, so let's go over to the crafting table over here. Very simple, just place the pocket watch here and then uh, place the module you want into the pocket watch and pull it out you have this pocket watch with the module in it so if you press R it will come out with a lot of little boxes so if you click on it the furnace module pocket watch and if you click on the furnace module you will have your furnace module turn on 
So wh what it actually does is actually smelt any oils that you mine instantly. So you save the time of smelting. Amazing, isn't it? But however, you have to watch out because it will be consuming your time sand. Oh man, I don't have any time sand with me. <laughs> Alright, now we have the time sand with us. <laughs> Alright, uh, we have uh, 62,000 time sand. This should be enough. So um, R again, click on the module. And you can see our time sand is actually depleting. Um, no, because it is not smelting. Of course, of course, I forgot about it. <laughs> Let's just place every single module in um, to the pocket watch. Silk touch. Partial gravity. Life walk module and also death walk module. Bam! Press R again. Let's turn off this one and turn on the life walk module. Let's see what's going on. Is it depleting? Yes, it is depleting slowly. So every time you walk, you will actually have additional health bar that will deplete before your heart will deplete. So let's see. Let's see if we walk quickly around. Let me just fast forward this. Yes. <laughs> I didn't realize. Take a look at the top left hand corner. There's 16 um, heart. That means I can take 16 damage before my heart goes down. Let's take a look. Um, let's jump into this lava and take a look. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yup. Take a look. <laughs> the life bar is, uh, the little heart icon is going down, but it's not my, my life bar is not going down. So let's douse ourselves. Yup. So this is the power of the life warp module. So let's um, turn it off and next we're gonna take a look at the death walk module. I think this just boosts your attack damage. Let's see, one, two, three, let's fast forward all this. Alright, I'm winding up my sword here. Alright, we are ready to test. I have six heart, let's see the next damage, how much is gonna deal. 38, yep, yeah, it plus 6 damage. Every time you walk, it will stack up the damage. It's a good idea to walk like 10 miles before you fight Ender Dragon <laughs> or something like this. Yep, yeah, so you add additional damage for the Death Walk module. Oops, wrong button. So, very interesting for Death Walk module. So, for the Furnace and the Silk Touch, I don't have to go through. Furnace and Silk Touch will just uh, melt down or either have Silk Touch effect on the item. Useful as well. So for this, let's see what is this module called again? Can't really remember. It's called partial gravity module. I think it whoa! <laughs> it gives jump boost and also um and also slow down on falling. Yep, very useful. However, all this will require time sand. So once you have uh, enough time sand to like rule the world or drown your friend in it. <laughs> you will become invincible. And that's all for the pocket watch. It is a very useful tool for us chronomancer. So remember to bring it around with a lot of time sand of course. So the next thing I want to introduce is the temporal multi tool. This is a very useful tool. As you can see, we will be carrying tons of items, tons of hourglass and stuff as a chronomancer. So we can actually have this multi tool. And let's see what it does. Let's just bring out a few of them, uh, other stuff. So with this multi tool, you can actually go to the crafting table. You actually stack all the tool into it. So let me just demonstrate. Let's say I want to put this sword in. I will stack it and then I pull it out. And then when I hold shift, it will have the clockwork sword in it. So I can actually um, just stack a lot of stuff in it. Up to 20 items. Let's stack it. And bam, shift. Take a look, all the items are in it. Once I have it, I can Press R and select the tool that I want. Let's say I want the X and I will have my X. Yep, I can use it until I'm done with it. I can press V. You come out with this menu. I can always change it back to multi tool or change it to other tools. Very useful to shrink your inventory size. And also if you want to extract any one of them, you can actually go to the disassembler and right click it with your um, multi tool. And pop, you will come out with all the tools that you have equipped in it. So this is it for the advanced stuff. So if you guys made it through so far, congratulations, you're a full-fledged Chronomancer. So remember, Chronomancer mod has a lot of customization. You can customize your stuff any way you want it, whether is it a powerful weapon with low durability or high durability weapon with low attack. It's all up to you guys. 
to decide how you want to craft it. And of course, remember to leave it in the comments below and tell me what you like the most for this mod. And thank you guys for watching this episode of Mod Quest. This is Vitality and Frolic on the Clockwork Face mod. I find this mod really interesting, very nice, very well made. All the texture and blocks have put in a lot of effort, I can see it. And the idea of it is very unique. So if you guys want to become a full fledged chronomancer, go ahead, the link is at the description below. And thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, favorite, share with your friends. And I'll probably see you guys next time. Bye.